don't consider it an invasion of privacy. I consider it helping for me. Janet Manzito relies on public transportation to get around town. Bus stops she uses every day will soon have new security cameras. It doesn't stop you from getting hurt but it does help find the person that's doing it. And that's not all. Manteca police said the city will be installing 30 cameras strategically around the area, targeting both bus stops and parks. So that the, the citizens and the people using uh, public transportation are safe. And then we're going to also have them at some of our parks that uh, may have more higher crime rates. Police tell us 11 cameras will be hardwired in around bus stops and transit centers. The rest will be portable and put up in parks. Uh, the cameras that are going to be uh, at the parks are all tilt pan zoom and so if a call comes out at let's say one of the parks um, they could go into that system and, and use it more so than just the area that it actually just covers and they can they can help us while we're in route to calls. Manteca police know all too well how one video can help solve a crime fast. Like this Sikh man who was assaulted in Greystone Park nearly two months ago, all caught on camera by a homeowner's security camera. Police posted it on Facebook and within 24 hours, the two suspects were in custody. Does everyone want to have their life on camera? No, right? But I think Looking back at the things that we were able to solve because of cameras, I think that will help uh, with the education portion with the public that, hey, these are good. The cameras are your friend. In Manteca, Lena Howland, ABC 10 News.